Hello, welcome to Faster Capture. I am Faster Ivy Smith and I am here alone. I'm all by myself. I don't have Pastor Steve or Pastor Tammy with me. Our pastors are, are <laughs> Kenna said this is funny. They're dropping like flies. <laughs> They're out of here. But I am glad to be here and uh, here at Mayor this week. Uh, we had a wonderful week in our services. Just want to share with you, just recap of what happened um, just since Sunday. Uh, of course, we had our God camp and our VBS kids come and their volunteers um, in both services, our modern and in our traditional. We had an opportunity to have uh, the kids come up and sing. And VBS was at uh, early service. And then at the 11 o'clock service, God camp came in. And um, I think one of the fun, funnest things, yes, funnest things that happened during the week uh, was just all their activity. It's just, you know, so much movement when you have the young people. And we had the opportunity to be here all week as part of staff walking around the building. But um, just being involved in, you know, just sucking up that youth, everything that they do is about, you know, touching the toes and reaching up and getting outdoors and um, so we say thanks to everybody because it is a um, culmination of uh, everything that we do all week with volunteering. But yet VBS is that one week, God Camp is that one week where we have, you know, leadership and adults come together. So thank you to all those. And then, you know, and the parents who got everybody together. Um, I, I said even in the services, the hard part is trying to not forget the songs, but to kind of get the songs out of our mind because I'm, I'm still always... Sing, light it up, 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 light it up. I love that one. Um, in our services, for me, um, I preached in traditional, and our traditional service um, uh, was wonderful, was wonderful. Um, we had just, you know, great music always, you know, with the young people coming in. Um, but then just our hymns and our um, congregational congregational singing which I love I always love um uh, victory in Jesus is our closing song that we have for uh traditional which I always feel like a country and western singer I feel like uh like I'm Dolly Parton or Reba uh, <laughs> singing victory in Jesus my say I don't know why I have to do it that way but it always comes out kind of kind of southern draw on victory in Jesus. But uh, the passage that we focused on was Acts 8, 26 to 40, uh, which is about Philip. Philip is one of the apostles, and he is a person uh, you will find elsewhere in the scripture. When it was time for the feeding of the 5,000, he was one who was going around bringing people saying, you know, make sure that, you know, you come because, uh, Jesus is here. He's going to be teaching and gathering people together. Um, so it is Philip that is watching this Ethiopian unit come for a festival of all week uh, service and worship. And he leaves the service um, kind of distraught, you know, fully, fully engaged. And as far as, you know, my mind's picture is that, you know, he came for this whole conference all week and he got the book bags, he got the name tag, he got, you know, the, the hotel room, the breakfast buffet, everything that goes with, you know, everything that goes with the t-shirt and all the mug and stuff, everything that goes with being there for the conference. And then he still left not knowing that, that presence of the Holy Spirit, not knowing Jesus Christ. And it is just an intersection that happens. Philip meets him um, and baptizes him and changes this man's life. And um, it, the scripture is marked in a particular way um, that just touches us at a juncture in our church, I believe. Um, just doing some study on this. Um, this Ethiopian eunuch for us represents a marginalized, isolated community that even our United Methodist Church has just gone through in our uh, general conference decision of making sure that everyone feels welcome, everyone feels included in the church. And he had a barrier of sexuality and a barrier of race. And so it is that Jesus and the apostles, the Holy Spirit, uh, plops this story right down in the middle of, you know, the book of Acts and gives to us the message that we all are to be shared. In the, in the modern service, 
Um, they started out singing one of my favorites, a Cornish Stone. I love that song. Um, Sarah Green was the, uh, the uh, preacher for the day. And Sarah's our very own. We love her. And she did a magnanimous job, a great job. Uh, I love how she just started it out with the... Uh, um, with one of those, one of our favorite camp songs of joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. I have the peace, 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 peace. But the message being about joy, she said, you know, that's one of the first things she she wanted to share with us. And um, her message uh, saying that we should be able to move um, I really resonated with me. Be able to move like Philip was moved. Philip was moved just on the spur. So much so that he just took out running after this chariot. And in those days, the chariot was like a car, you know, like like a motorcycle or a truck going down the street now. So in that time, he's chasing after a moving chariot and catches up with them because the spirit tells him to do all you can, do everything, give all your might to get to this person to move. And uh, her message to us was, we have to take those times of the Holy Spirit to make sure that we just move and get closer to people so that they know Jesus Christ. Uh, thank you, Sarah, for all your, all your gleaning and, and light to us in that message. Um, this week, as I said, Pastor Steve is at YSP, our youth service project. Hello, Men of the United Methodist Church and friends. This is Pastor Steve, and I'm coming to you for this week's Pastor Capture. And I am blessed to be with this amazing mission team. You can see them all. And uh, we have been staying. Where have we been staying? Real Foot Rural Ministries in Obine, Tennessee. And I want to introduce you to uh, Vivian. This is her home in the background. Say hi, Vivian. Hi. <laughs> hi. My name is Vivian Rogers. I live in Tiftonville, Tennessee. And I want to thank God for all the workers that came to help both, both sections. Amen. Thank you, Vivian. We've been so blessed. Uh, we got uh, the Vivian team. Raise your hand. And then we got a whole other team that's working down the road to another building a house. Raise your hand. Outstanding. So uh, this week I did watch online. I saw the worship at Modern with uh, Sarah Ring preaching. That was awesome. And I also saw the uh, Vacation Bible School singing at both Modern and Traditional. What a blessing this past Sunday. And be sure to come this coming Sunday. We're going to have the whole team. we got to travel all the way back up from Tennessee. And they're going to be there to help lead worship. It's going to be wonderful. At all four services, you'll hear testimonies. You'll hear a proclamation of good news. It's going to be great. So come. And we'll see you then. And Pastor Tammy will be coming back from her um, Ark of Justice tour. Hello, Matter UMC. It's Pastor Tammy. And I just wanted to share some pictures from Wednesday, June 19th, when we went to the Whitney Plantation. It was incredibly moving to be there on Juneteenth. Not only for me, but for a lot of the folks on the journey with me. One of the things that I want to share with you all is just how I felt when I was standing in the main room of the main house. I definitely had a feel, um, I could like just the sense of presence of what happened in that space. Leaning up against a doorway while I was listening to our guide share, I just could feel a sense of what it would have been like to be in that space as an enslaved person, knowing that leaning against a door frame would not be appropriate and could definitely end not well. So just things to think about from my trip, um, my journey, and I will be um, very excited to share with you as I continue to learn and hopefully share what I learn with others so that we can move forward and realize that we are all created in God's great image. So thanks for uh, letting me share with you. And I look forward to seeing you all on Sunday. Thank you for joining and take the time to sit with me today through Pastor Capture. Um, just make sure that you like and subscribe and share this, you know, with others. We have our 9 and 11 o'clock service, both modern and traditional, for you to join in for us. So thank you for tuning in to me, <laughs> to Pastor Captain. <laughs>